Hello, welcome. High school basketball here on the Toledo Sports Network. I'm Norm Weimer along with Mike Jamison tonight. And we are at Evergreen. The Evergreen Vikings hosting Cardinal Stretch. We got us a heck of a game tonight, Normie, and I'll tell you what, we, we got to apologize. We're, we're actually running our, our phone to get our internet connection here because we couldn't get our connect, connection for uh, Evergreen. But uh, if you're w listening tonight and wondering what's going on, the game will be on Sunday at uh, noon. But, uh, boy, we got us a great game right here. Cardinal Stretch with the basketball. Looks like Evergreen going to set up in the zone. Well, you know, we're looking at a team here, Norm, that lost a few players, but we're at the, the finals in the, in the state this year. So uh, we're going to see what's going to happen here with the Cardinals, and Evergreen's got a pretty good squad t this year too. I don't think the cupboard's bare. No, I, I think they, they figured out a way to keep T-Bone Stakes in there, that's for sure. <laughs> Three-pointer fired that's up Wiggins. by Jaden Wilson. Oh, it's Wilson. No good. Rebound Brighton for Evergreen. And our first turnover. With what we see out on the floor for Cardinal Stretch right now, I, I see a lot of a lot of quick movement on the ball. You know, Holofield's got it right now. He's kind of the leader out there, but you got Moorhead out there. Wigan, I'll tell you what, these guys are really a good ball club. Nice pass inside. Inside to the basket, up and in, Justin Wiggins. Justin Wiggins. Nice, nice spin turn. move in the paint. Looks like it was partially blocked, offensive board. Well, Fleur, and he turned it over. Now Wilson gets it, gets it out the hole of field. <laughs> Quickly, quickly. Two quick ones for him right there. Oh, another steal. <laughs> First nice little medium range jumper, Brandon Burks. Six nothing and Evergreen better watch it right now. Yeah. And a strip and a steal. Couldn't get it to go. Loose ball foul. It'll be on Justin Wiggins for Cardinal Stritch. Special thanks to IBEW Local 8. Uh, Mommy Bay Turf, Brad Morrison and the gang out there. Wojo's Heating. Uh, Graymont Corey and A-plus Home Improvements. And uh, I got to get you into this uh, this new beef jerky that uh, the Carpenter Goods are doing. Oh, my gosh, is it good. First foul of the game. Justin Wiggins. Or I'm sorry, that's his second. Yeah, that's his second. He's going to come out. Dunsmore's in. So he'll have to sit down. Ben Dunsmore will come in for Cardinal Stritch. 6'1 senior guard. Nice the turn. inside. Power move up I and like in. It. Nate Brighton. That's what you need to do. Hardcore inside moves right there. That's good old-fashioned basketball right there for you. Oh. Oh, the field? Yeah. No, but drew the foul. Evergreen's got size. They go 6'4", 6'4", 6'5", across the front. Right. It's all going to come down to the handling of the basketball. But four early turnovers, it's something that Evergreen cannot afford to do tonight. Right. And you know Stretch is going to put the pressure on. First free throw, no good. Not the second. Second one is good. Holyfield splits the pair, and it's seven and two, Cardinal Stretch. Boy, you saw that coming. That was a steal Boy, to the basket. It? No, couldn't get it to go. And a rebound, Loeffler. Nice little jumper, pull up right free there. throw line, no good. Rebound, Stretch and Wilson. Yeah, you can't get into a run, a running game with Stretch. You just, you just cannot do that. You need to 
focus on making your time down on that side of the court really worth it. Well, Stretch's first turnover. You want to limit possessions. Problem is you're down five already. Right, right. Well, it's almost it's almost one of those, you know, the, the one thing that Evergreen's going to have to do is, like you said, make things happen on their, their end of the court. But they need to keep the ball over there as long as they possibly can. A little baseline jumper, oh, no nice. good offensive board. Oh, back up and in. nice. Nate Brayton. That's Evergreen's game right there. Oh, yeah. A 6'5 senior, and uh, and he's really good. He's really good down low. Knows what he needs to do. Oh, bounces around, didn't fall. Didn't get the drop. They move the ball so well. Three-pointer? Nope. Rebound Brighton. And back comes Evergreen. Kind of wild watching Bright Brighton bring it up, but being a 6'5 senior and having that much confidence, do it. Nice turn left. Ah. Couldn't get it to go. Rebound stretch. <laughs> to the hole. <laughs> a scoop up and in, Jaden Wilson. You know, we were talking about him a lot last year when he came in. He was coming in off the bench. And the, some of the stuff that he was able to do last year, it, it kind of got me scared of what that kid could do. Oh, 9-4 stretch and a foul underneath. That'll be on the Cardinals and Ben Dunsmore. Once again, we do apologize if you're listening online. We're at our lowest possible resolution we can do this at. I'm running it off my phone because uh, sometimes the the uh, schools just don't have it set up for us. Over and back. Sixth turnover huh. forced by Cardinal Stretch. <laughs> I'm just kind of sitting here amazed and watching just how quick this team is right now, right now. And it's all about decision making. They they have the ability. Three pointer, no good. Rebound Brighton. Some, he's getting some good rebounds in there. He's, oh, nice pass underneath. Should not have shot fake. <laughs> How about that Offense kid? Board up and in. Wow. <laughs> and a timeout with 318 to go in the first nine six Cardinal stretch on the Toledo Sports Network. Genoa Bank helped finance my great-grandfather's farm equipment. Genoa Bank helped my grandfather with a small business loan. My parents' home loan was from Genoa Bank. And I managed my free checking account online with Genoa Bank. Since 1902, Genoa Bank has helped generations of families. Many things have changed over the years, but our commitment to our customers has not. We care about their needs and the good of our community. At Genoa Bank, we take your banking needs personally. Stop by any of our eight locations today. For Evergreen, all six points, five of their seven rebounds. Wow. Wow. And he's so strong inside, he's fun to watch. Because he, like we said in the in the commercial break, he's got to stay out of foul trouble, though. But you know, normally in a situation, he's with them being as quick as they are, you're going to get himself into some foul trouble. Evergreen going to stay in the 3-2 zone. Pass inside, oh. double team, now on the floor, and a steal by Brighton. Uh-huh. He's going to bring it up. He's not afraid. Give him credit. You always get scared of my coach from high school. Coach Kevin McQuaid is here tonight, and if Coach McQuaid would have seen me dribbling the ball out there like that. Boy, stretch defensively is right in your face. Yeah. Baseline what? move, a travel. Turnover number seven. Looks like Ross Thompson in for uh, for the Cardinals. Another big boy. Six foot seven junior. 180. Now see, those were my numbers. I was 6'6, 165. See, those are my numbers. And he looks like he, he ate a few more meals than I did. 
<laughs> Pounding around with him. Wilson thought about the three. Now, <laughs> firing the three, Holyfield. Yeah, he didn't just think about that one. That was a couple of feet beyond the arc. Uh-huh. 12-6 stretch. 2-10 to go first quarter. E2 with the basketball. There's a nice back nice. cut to the basket. Couldn't get it to go. But Nason Loeffler will go to the line. Ross Thompson gets his first foul. Loeffler, first one good. This is what Evergreen needs to do to stay in this game, get to the free throw line. Split the pair. Yeah. Rebound Dunsmore for Stritch. Lightning fast, lightning fast. And, and giving credit where credit's due, even though they're getting down inside like that, Evergreen's stopping them, they're not scoring. Just not scoring there. Nice, nice pass into the paint. Boom. Got it to go. Mason Loeffler in a foul. Thompson picks up two quick fouls for Stritch. And 16 fouls on Stritch already. Free throw is good. Two-point game, my friend. Completes the three-point play, and it's 12-10 stretch. And that's one of the problems when you're that fast a team. It, nine times out of ten, you're going to get yourself into foul trouble. And uh, to the basket, couldn't get it to go on the scoop, but Jaden Wilson will go to the free throw line. Tempo is so important in a game like this. Sure. Pretty safe to say, though, Stritch definitely has the outdoor or the outside guns to make things happen. Jade Wilson with the first to two good. 13 10 Stritch. 123 to go in the first. Wilson hits them both. And the pressure will peel off. But stretch makes you earn every inch of the court. Oh, yeah. Boy, nice thanks. screen. Nice switch. Brighton tried to drive. There got it is. Cut off. Nice pass. Oh, Into the paint. Got it. got it to foul. Evan Lovebury's here with the basket. And he'll go to the free throw line. Densmore gets his second foul. And Lumbreezer's free throw off the back of the rim. Boy, they've missed rim a lot so far. Oh, Jayden. Long three-pointer, no good. Ooh. That's one of those, gosh, do you really want to say something, you know, because Wilson's one of the guys that can hit them. we got two Wafflers brothers for Evergreen. Being real smart, keeping that ball on their side of the court for 29 seconds left here, 23. Apologize, we couldn't get a camera. We couldn't get a camera on the scoreboard tonight. Well, you got a chance to tie or even take the lead. Nice open jumper. Couldn't get it to go. Rebound Holyfield on the run. Seven seconds. Holyfield par partially blocked Brighton with the board. Double clutch. Oh. Couldn't get it to go. And at the end of one, stretch 14, Evergreen 12 on the Toledo Sports Network. What can you expect from working with Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation? 
Our branch manager, Marty Bin, can help you navigate through the loan process with the service and speed you deserve. Contact Marty today to get pre-qualified. Make your home buying dreams a reality. Call 419-481-8696 to speak with Marty Bin today. Getting ready for the second quarter at Evergreen High School. Stretch 14, Evergreen 12. You got the tack against the NWOAL tonight. Stretch one and one on the season, Evergreen two and one. But uh, Stretch's loss was St. Francis. <laughs> and, they, and only by three, and had a big win over weight. Evergreen's beaten Ottawa Hills, which is a nice win by one. And they just beat out Sego in double overtime. Oh, there's steel. it. There's that steal. Coast to coast up and in. Wilson is definitely a fly in the ointment of Evergreen's uh, backcourt. <laughs> Boy, he's he's looked really good tonight, no question. Double team, got oh. it away. Now you got numbers. Into the corner and back out. They're moving it a lot better now. That's got to fall, though. Did not take advantage of the numbers underneath, though. Yep, yep. Well, Leffler's got to be able to make that. Wilson back on out. Three-pointer fired up. In and out. Wiggins don't oh, go. Tap up in. and in. Who got that basket? Oh, uh, you got me. I was turning as it was going in. The hands were up in the air. <laughs> I apologize. I'll figure uh, it out. See, Three that's pointer. Go in. No good. Rebound Hollerfield. Back comes Stritch. Three-pointer. Nope. Wiggins passed it up. Wilson Just so on the drive. Quick, huh? Oh, pass went through the hands of Wiggins. That'll be a turnover. Now they're going to move it around outside a little bit here and let some things happen. And that's going back to stretch. Brandon Burks was the one that got the uh, tip and the basket. Once again, folks, if you're listening online, we do apologize. I'm literally running this thing off my Boost Mobile phone. And for whatever reason, it's working because uh, we couldn't get the right uh, security clearances here. For And that's happening a lot with the new Internet systems in the schools. And it's totally my fault. I needed to go over here and talk to them, and we would have had it. But we're good. We're good. And I have a couple of weird phone calls we got. So Wilson for three, no good. Weak side <laughs> rebound. Going I, to Evergreen and Loeffler. I hope and pray we don't get any more phone calls. Because <laughs> we get phone calls, it shuts off the Internet. So, But we're up. I'm kind of happy. Oh, Boy, nice double move. Wow. Up and in, Nate Brighton. Needed that. That was big, and it was. Uh, that's a good confidence booster inside. You need some things to happen good inside. Brighton has been awfully impressive. 18-14 stretch, three, or I'm sorry, 5.35 to go second quarter. Well, the one thing they've been able to do is, uh, you know, he's been able to do what he needs to do inside, and, uh, you know, kudos out to him. Brighton's doing a nice job inside, and, uh, you know, Stritch is, you know, they've got the firepower to make a lot of things happen. But they've missed some really, you know, easy shots, and they they got to make that not happen anymore. Evergreen going to stay in that three-two zone. On the drive, stop, pop, got yep. it. Jaden Wilson. He's got eight. The lead is six for Stretch. And six-five Brighton bringing the ball down. I just. It works though, you know. To the basket. I like it. And up and good. <laughs> Ethan Loeffler with his first basket. You know they get about six points down, and then all of a sudden it's a two-point game. They they're really they're regular. Right now it's four. Oh, sorry. <laughs> see, I can't Math see. was not his major. No, it wasn't. I yeah, I did go to Cardinal Stretch. Four twenty-two so. to go in the second. <laughs> Twenty to sixteen. Stretch with the lead and the ball. Trying to run the picks off the 3-2. 
I'm very Mertz. impressed and impressed with uh, what the Vikings are doing right now, especially with its quickest stretches. Here's Burks nice for Burks. three. Didn't go. Almost got his own board. Stritch did get the board. Wiggins missed it. Smith with the rebound. And a foul. Somebody got him. Well, if you watch too defensively, Evergreen's trying to make sure that nobody penetrates from the point. Okay. Yeah, what we've seen so far is a lot of clogging up there, but uh, Holyfield gets it. Holyfield got the first. That's seven for him. See, now Evergreen's in the one and one, and they need to take advantage of it. Uh huh. And what do you do when the coach always tells you to do? Take it right ahead of him. Yes. Oh, yeah. Holyfield made a both. Six point stretch lead. 22 16, 339 to go, second quarter. Got to be careful out there. Look at how far Stritch pushes Evergreen out. Oh, yeah. On the drive. Couldn't get it to go. Rebound Holyfield. Nice. Inside, up and in, Jalen Smith. There's that tempo again. 24-16 stretch. Nice give and go oh, up and in. That. Nice. That's 10 for Brighton. 24-18 stretch. Two forty-four left in the second. Got a timeout. Twenty-four eighteen stretch on the Toledo Sports Network. On the job for you for over one hundred years. You need a career. You need a future. Local Eight can help you make it happen. Join the men and women who build our community. Become a part of a proud tradition. Build your career. Build your future with the brothers and sisters of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local Union 8. We're on the job for you. We're on the job for you. We're the local like the EW. 242 <laughs> left. And, and there were six, six players out there for stretch. So. <laughs> Brandon Burks well, that could explain that things, huh? Yeah. Got to pick five of them. Oh, Here's Wilson. Wilson for oh. three. Got it. That's ugly good, boy. I'll tell you. 11 that's... for Jaden Wilson. He's been terrific tonight. Nice pass to the inside. Double team. Kicks it back out. Three. For three. Got it. Jack E2 with the triple. Nice movement for Stretch. Oh. Missed the three there and Brighton with the board. Ball on the floor, bodies on the floor, timeout. Evergreen with two minutes to go in the second quarter. 27-21 stretch. 21 stretch. Just under two to go in the second. And the Vikings are hanging in there. It's a pretty some, good team. Sure, they got a couple of pretty good coaches too. That's They're going to win oh. some ball games. Wow. I don't think there's any question. I like this. I like to a this. Left hand up and in. Loeffler with a little trash talk there, too. Wow, if Loeffler can help on the inside like that. Oh. Long three. Big rainbow. Jaden Wilson. Wow. That was 25 feet if it was a foot. He didn't even flinch. No, and nothing but net. Pass on the inside, kicks it back out. E2 for three, just off the mark. Got no problem with that shot either. Nope, I don't need a rebound, Wilson. Oh, nice steal. Uh -oh. Lumbreezer bounce, pass <laughs> stolen right back. Wow. What a play by Holyfield. 
Oh, beautiful in. Touch oh. pass, couldn't get it to go. Rebound Evergreen. And now Evergreen needs to slow down the pace. Uh -huh. 40 seconds to go in the quarter. I just wanted to see a good tight game. You know? you, you're seeing a good one, that's for sure. It is. Oh, they got a. Yeah, it's going to be an offensive foul away Waffler. from the ball. A blocking foul. 31 seconds left to go in the second quarter. Yeah, second on Loeffler. That's a tough one to pick up with 31 seconds to go in the half. Uh -huh. It's only got two. You'd rather have one go in the <laughs> half. But, you know, and Evergreen hasn't been able to take advantage of the one-on-one -on -one situation this Not whole at quarter. All. Not at all. Down to 16 seconds to go in the quarter. <laughs> you know, Jaden Wilson will take that shot yeah. if they leave it to him. Burks left wing, mm -hmm. Jaden Wilson way out there. <laughs> He's gonna take the long bomb. Oh. No good. And we're at halftime. Wow, wow, great, great first half, Norm. I'm looking forward to the second half. If you're listening online, we're gonna shut her down for a second here, let this thing cook up here for a few, but we'll be back in about 10 minutes. Yep, right here on the Toledo Sports Network. Mike Jamison and Jamison's Mobile Music would like to talk to you about your entertainment needs for your upcoming wedding or special event. For over 25 years, Mike has made wonderful memories one event at a time. Professional sound and lighting and video for your special event. Call us today for an affordable package for your special day. 419-514-1302. Jamison's Mobile Music and Video. All right, back we are on the Toledo Sports Network. We will get you caught up, but right now it's 38-32. Cardinal stretch with the lead, 540 to go in the third. And Evergreen just turned it over. That's what I get for turning it off to conserve power, huh? We don't want to do that again. <laughs> Special thanks to the great people over at Marty Bin, whose birthday's today. He is. We traded threes. <laughs> there were Boy, did we about trade threes. five threes. <laughs> two of them were from Jaden Wilson. Two of them were for Jack E2 for Evergreen. There's another three-point try. That's no good. Oh, that's going to stay here. That's a defensive foul. Kind of looks like that's going to be on uh, number 32. Or, no, I'm sorry, number 42, Ross Thompson. They get, they're getting that, a little ugly inside, well, Norm. Well, that's on Loeffler. That's his fourth. And see, he hated to get that second one right before right. the half. And now all of a sudden he's got four, and he's going to have to sit or risk fouling out. Jump ball. That ball's going to go back to uh, the Vikings. Yeah, Jaden Wilson now has got 22 points, including four triples. Wow. Wow. E2's got three three-pointers. Oh, scary pass right there. Just give it to the big guy, right? Well, it's the best matchup. It sure is. For, for Evergreen to bring the ball down the floor. Because guys like Jaden Wilson, Brandon Burks, they're too quick. Oh, gosh. I agree. And I, that's a smart move by the coaching staff, I yep. think. Well, he's able to do it. You know, he has not missed out there yet. He, he's able to handle the ball and, uh, you know. Now that we're back, nobody's scoring. Still 38-32. <laughs> no, uh, that's a, that's, yep, double dribble. It's Murphy's Law when the system <laughs> goes down. There's 10 incredible plays right in a row. Well, uh, C.J. Hawk also hit a three-pointer. Yeah. Evergreen only had one in the first half, they got three in this quarter, and right off the bat. Yeah, it's a good game. This is a good game. I'm glad we're doing it, and uh, thank you for uh, listening online. And uh, well, this is a terrific game. Evergreen just can't get the score tied. All right. 
Brayton. Yep. High basketball IQ. There you go. That's very easy to see. Even I can see it. <laughs> you don't have to be good. You just have to be good at it. Well, being 6'5 helps, but. Uh... Didn't help me. <laughs> Come on, what are you saying there? What are you I'm saying say helps. Though? Beautiful roll. Just think if you are 5'6, I'm just saying. Made a ball 38 34, stretch with the lead in the ball, 430 to go in the third. I don't think I was 5'6 in kindergarten. <laughs> All the field. They've been able to really kind of put the brakes on him lately here. Now well, he's got eight. Wiggins. Boom. Got it for three. That's see, that's the Cardinal stretch right there. They've got <laughs> other guys that can hit the hit the big one. It's about a three-point shooting contest in wow. this quarter. Stretch has got three of them. And so does Evergreen. Oh, right. nice. nice spin move. Couldn't get it to go. Rebound, Jalen Smith. And that bounced around, went off of Stretch. The foul was on the pinball wizard. Pinball bounced around so much. Seven's about their biggest lead, I think, yeah. for Stretch. 41-34. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is this is, this about is the time. where you got to watch it for Evergreen. Right. This is when they normally will they'll, they'll spank it up here and they'll get, like, three shots right in a row. Because if it gets to double digits, it's going to be very difficult for Evergreen to come back. Brighton. Work the middle. Nice move. Sat nice. on the rim. Didn't want Got to his own. He's yeah, he did. Line. He'll go to the line. Brighton's got to keep making them, and he did. But you can see if there's a weakness for Stretch. It's somebody big like Brighton on the inside. Uh -huh. They really don't have a good matchup for him. Brighton hits them both. He's got 14. The lead is down to five. They're hoping Ross Thompson, I'm sure, the 6'7 junior, ends up being that guy. Yep. Well, they base a lot of their offense off that three-point play. Holyfield and... missed. Oh. Yeah, I think they're going to call a foul on Brighton. I'm not sure about that one. Huh. If Brighton hit him, he was the first one to hit him. And there were three or four other hits after that. It's only his first. They were both going up after the rebound. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, the three-pointer. That one no good. And it'll go out of bounds. You can't say no to that shot, though. I mean, you know, he's probably 35, 40% from right there. And that's not bad numbers. You just want to make sure, though, you're taking good shots. Uh huh. You see it happen in high school all the time. Somebody hits a couple, and then pretty soon they're bombing from all over the place. Oh, uh, there's a steal. That one got away from Brighton right there. And I'm not saying that's what Jalen Wilson's doing. He's had a terrific night. That's his shot. I mean, he's been shooting that shot since the first time I've ever seen him play the game. So you can't, you, you, you can't be, uh-oh. I was on the uh, Wilson bandwagon there, and uh, one of the wheels came off there for a second. Oh. Three-pointer. No good. Almost an ankle breaker, right? Almost. That was a nice turnout. That had a little harden to it. All of a sudden, now that everything's working, and then, of course, I have somebody call me right in the middle of a game, and there we go again. Well, Evergreen's done a much better job at forcing some turnovers here in the third quarter. Sure. They've forced five, and when they only forced four in the entire first half. Three Ooh. seconds. Boy, you don't hear that very often anymore, you know? So with 2 uh -oh. to go in the third, 41-36, stretch. Nice. Oh, should have stayed with it. Three-pointer. Got it. <laughs> C.J. Hawk is second of the quarter. What were we we're just talking about? two-point game. <laughs> Three-pointer. No good. Nice shot, but you Fight got to for the rebound. It. Ball on the floor. Bodies on the floor. 
And Hout comes away with it. A foul. Putting a little of the press on here. Man-to-man -man press. Here comes Brighton. Got it tapped away, but Evergreen will keep it. Burke's playing some good D right there, too. Oh, no, no the question. The D is great. It's just, you just, oh. You get to a point and... Oh, Boy, that trapping hard. defense. Burks came away with it. And now they're going to call it a jump ball, and that possession arrow will favor Stritch. Nice play by Burks. Boy, you love to see it when they get down on the floor. And oh, yeah. Go chasing after it. Special thanks going out to Brad Morrison and all the gang over at Maumee Bay Turf helping us make these games happen. And, uh, they're doing a lot with Rossford games right now. we got the new Rossford Gymnasium going to be opening up here on the 1st of February, and it's going to be awesome. Excited about that. Pull the field all the way. Oh! Rejected. See, there's, that's what Dunsmore does, man. He is just a bullet inside. Nice job. It's getting scrappy, and i got to be honest with you, I, I think scrappy favors Evergreen. Yes? Foul on Hawk is first. Scrappy. Inside, Holyfield missed it. Fight for the board, goes to Evergreen. And a timeout. With 47.2 to go in the third, 41-39, Stritch leading Evergreen on the Toledo Sports Network. Bankruptcy can stop wage garnishments, collection calls, harassment, lawsuits, utility shutoffs, evictions, foreclosures, just to name a few. The law offices of Patricia A. Kovach are dedicated almost exclusively to representing the people and businesses who are overwhelmed by debt. Is your debt keeping you awake at night? Call us at 419-787-2666. The law offices of Patricia A. Kovach. Forty-seven point two to go in the third. This has been a dandy. Well, I have to say, normally I have to cut things out of games. I doubt I'm going to be cutting anything out of this one so far. So, uh, very, <laughs> <laughs> not a lot of editing on this one. I bring Norm Waymer back, and I know I'm not going to have to edit too much. It just gets it done. Of course, now that you said that, you I know, know it's going to happen. I know. Oh, no. Brighton lost it. Higgins. Steal by Wiggins to the basket. Wow. Up and in, Jaden Wilson. For Stritch, that defense is just going to force so many fast break opportunities. Nice. To the basket. E2 has been on fire in this quarter. Right place, right time, and gets what he needs to get done at the same time. So it works out good for him. 43-41. Down to five seconds. Jumper, Holyfield missed it, rebound. Brighton, and we're at the end of three. Wow. 43-41, Stritch leading Evergreen. Hang on for the fourth here on the Toledo Sports Network. Adler Transmissions and Brake Shop, 106 South Main, Walbridge, Ohio. Your automotive parts and accessories number one store. Your first stop for quality transmission repair for over 25 years. Adler's Transmission and Brake Shop has been providing Walbridge and all of Northwestern Ohio with quality service. Adler's Transmission and Brakes, 419-666-1010. Proud sponsor of high school sports in Northwestern Ohio. After the regular season's over. I think you're right. I think you're right. Inside, Brighton, double clutch. Does Got it. Miss. We're tied. Wow. <laughs> Tell you what. I don't think impressive. Evergreen's ever had the lead in this game. I could be wrong, but I don't recall it. Well, Burks. What's, what's got to happen now is... Every time down, Stritch has got to make it happen. Boy, everybody and now Burks again. Three. See, they're out, they're out of their rhythm because we have not seen a three. You know what I mean? And Oh, oh bad pass. That's the stuff Coach Kashmirik uh, has to take Tums for. 
That's my uh, 42nd rule. You know that. Oh, we've talked about that a million times. <laughs> yep. Into the corner for three. Oh. Hop. No good. Boy, good, good rebound by Holifield. Yeah, it's time. To the free throw line, double clutch, That's got it, and a foul. Yep. That's where senior leadership comes to play. Right now, I'm going to take this. It's me. I'm not giving this ball up, and I'm going to make what I need to happen happen right now, and he did. Good yeah, job. He got Brighton in the air. That was a terrific head fake. And now stretch back on top. Free throw, good. It's for some reason, it's one thing about catching up, it's another thing about taking the lead. Amen. Amen. And now stretch up by three. Well, I mean, all the guns are on the on the court right now. Nice cut to the baskets, slapped away, got he it tried. back, and now oh. missed. Holy field with the rebound. He just missed Duns more. There it is, Wilson. Got it. Never mind. What did I just say? <laughs> Jaden Wilson is the dagger. We're going to get on a timeout. 6.25 to go in the fourth. 49-43 stretch over Evergreen on the Toledo Sports Network. Hi there. I'm Nick with A-plus Building Maintenance, your Toledo handyman. Do you need home repairs done? Not sure who to call? Here at A-plus, we install everything from light bulbs to roofing. We're fully licensed and insured to protect you. We're also a proud member of the BBB. Please visit us online at ToledoHandyman.com. There you can see many before and after photos along with other customer testimonials and ask your own home repair question. Any job big or small, A-plus building maintenance, 419-478-1542. They're very, very kind to let us come in here. We get a lot of people from Evergreen that watch these games and beg us to do them. Oh, wow. Nice pass to the inside. Brighton's just, he's there. I, I'm, I'm thinking there's definitely going to be some uh, college basketball there for him. He's uh, he's he's going to wind up a nice forward or a nice point guard. Umbreeze are going to go to the free throw line. First one, no good. So one thing Evergreen has not done well tonight is shoot from the free throw line. Missed them both. Wow. That's a that's a that's a herder. He's got a feeling Holofield's going to take over here. They're going to make things happen. They're going to see. They're going to run some clock right now. Six minutes to go. 49-43. Stretch with the lead. Yeah. You got the lead. You've got the 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 better ball handlers. We're just going to move that ball right Burks, now. Burks, baseline drive, and a foul. I think it was Brighton by the look on his face. <laughs> One of them. That's his oh, third now. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Man! Well, it's a six zero run by Stretch right now, and Burks to the free throw line for a, for a pair. No good off the back iron. Need a little bit of arc on that one there, Mr. Burks. I'm the guy that always says, take a step back, take a, take a deep breath, start over. <sighs> Missed them both. But Duns, Dunsmore. Yep, Dunsmore with the offensive board. That was good. That was good. Yeah, I think you're going to see they're, you know, they're going to take the air out of the ball for a little bit here because they know. Oh. Oof. Throw it away. I see what Coach Kashmir is trying to do here. Uh, you know, they can pretty much dedic uh, you know, dictate what's going to happen out here on the offensive end for Stritch, and uh, and they, get, they can't be funny with it. Well, taking the air out of it is not their game. Well, I don't think I don't think it's even the fact that they're taking the air out of the game. It's just making that decision on that little pass inside that, you know, you're just trying to thread the needle. Inside Brighton. Got oh. it. His I'm telling you. Soft, soft yep. touch. 49, 45. Shot missed by Stretch, but they got the offensive board. See, at this time you need to take 30 seconds out of it before you. Yeah, they plugged in the air brakes. Now it'll 
So one and one for Holyfield. First one. Got it. Oh. Oh. Lane violation. And I think that's that might have been on uh, Wilson. Well, you can take that one off the board. I don't think we even put it on the board there, boss. But I marked it on my sheet. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. 49 45. Stretch leading Evergreen by four. Four and a half to go. Ooh. Well, they are Brighton just... way out. Hauk back into Brighton. Oh, he turns on him. Hauk for three. God. <laughs> <laughs> Tam Smith always talked about the inside outside, and Evergreen did it to perfection. Oh, amen. Amen. Tied up yeah. inside. They're going to call a foul. Wow. He's oh, a little Hickerson. upset. This is not the guy you want to send to the line if you're Evergreen. No. Tell you, Holofield's got a unique follow through. He's that ball, watch the ball spin when Holofield, it's it's very unique, but it, he pushes the ball, but boy, it works. First one good. That would be a rhythm shooter, I imagine. Exactly, yeah. Well, it, it's not coming straight off. It's it, He's got a turn there, but it works, and it's beautiful. He's always done that. Well, his rotation on it is terrific, too. 51 48 stretch, four minutes to go. Did not. Got numbers uh, to the basket. Oh, got it to foul. You're here, brother. <laughs> we bring Norm Waymer on. Good things happen. Oh, Brighton skimmed it off the front of the That's, rim. I think Rebound his, first, his first miss, isn't it? Uh, maybe he missed one in the first half. Well, you can forgive him if he's a little, little tired at this point because he's, he's got, been all over the place. What's he got, 20? 20 points, nine boards, been bringing the ball down the floor. I tell you what, this zone that the Vikings are running is just, it's awesome. And this is probably a team that, you know, a three-point shooting team, one of the best three-point shooting teams they're going to go against. One-point game. I know Evergreen's got Swanton coming up here real quick. Uh, Boy, Burks doesn't want to take that shot. Yeah. Holyfield. Double clutch, no foul call, oh. rebound. Wow. Goes to Evergreen. Oh. Three point. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Wow. Wow. Are you kidding me? Well, see, this is what we were talking about, Normie. They when they control their the offense and they control the destiny of what's going on, they're good. But when they try to light that fire a little bit, it's just... I don't, you know, I don't think we're even half full in here. Right. <laughs> it is beyond loud. Yeah. Student yeah. section for Evergreen's got a lot to do with that. 53-51 Evergreen. I believe it's the first lead of the game. I had a little, if there uh, was another one, it was very, very early. Now Evergreen with the ball in the lead and 2.50 to go. No pressure here by Stretch. Lumbrazer will lock it down. Now here's where you really want to take the air out, right? Well, I, I think you run your offense. Oh. Oh, oh nice save by wow. E2. Almost lost it. Very impressed with this I team. I think you run your offense. You try and get a layup or nice I back like up to the basket. Oh. <laughs> Four point lead Evergreen. Three pointer, <laughs> too long. Rebound Mason Loeffler. Two minutes to go. Oh. Just at the bright, back out, oh. out, E2. Open three, oh. in and out. 
Oh, he's got the Offensive rebound. Offensive board, Loeffler couldn't oh, get it. Right with the tip. Wow. Missed the shot, rebound Evergreen and Brighton. Six point lead, a minute and a half to go for the Vikings. Gonna take it to the hole, no, oh, a block. Body. Yeah. And Mason Loeffler will go to the line. What? We got a technical? Oh. On Wilson. Cannot let your emotions get the best of you in a game like this. Fifty-seven, fifty-one, one twenty-seven. Mason Loeffler's two or three from the line. He'll shoot the technical first. Mm. No good. Oh, he'll shoot the two first. And then the technical the comes after that. Got it. Split the pair. I think I had that right. Because I'll get the ball back then, too. Right. right? Mm. Missed it. Oh, he gets Look. one more. Yep, he's made one out of three. Seven point lead, though, for Evergreen. Mm. Minute 27 to go. And no good. So he gets one of the four, but they get the ball back. It's going to be an interesting 127 here. And Jade Wilson is sitting at the moment. Just got it in in time. Lombrazer to Brighton. He'll just keep it in the middle of the floor. There comes Burks. Brighton double team. Oh. Got it back in, back oh. out, into the corner for three. E2, oh. no good. Rebound taken Shouldn't down by that. Hightower. Shouldn't have done that. Romel Hightower, 6'4", freshman in the game. Boy, and he looks like a terrific athlete. Jumper oh, from the free throw line, good by Holyfield. Brighton has been able to do for Evergreen so far. Inbound double team back to E2. Got to work it down the floor. Oh, and a foul. And we're in the one-on-one -on -one situation. Somebody must be bleeding or something. You got, I need a monitor here. We got a JV player in here for a stretch. First free throw good by Lumbreezer. Yeah, number 20, Brandon Rebels into the game. He's a six foot freshman. Split the pair, rebound Burks. Six point oh, lead, nice 41 goal. seconds to go on the inside. Oh, and he missed it. Holyfield couldn't get it to go, but drew the foul. Definitely needed that one. Well, it's, you know, it's not, to me, it's not the big guy on offense because Holyfield can fill that role. He's been scoring inside. It's on the defensive end. That's I agree. Problem. Yes. But it might be the only problem they got. <laughs> it's a good team. Very good team. They're not going to go undefeated. No team really goes undefeated. And uh, two or three losses, you know, in a season, it's going to make them a stronger team. Boy, Holyfield's been hot from the line. He's got 17. The lead is down to four. And a oh, steal. steal. 
Holyfield, baseline, off the window, no. Tap oh. out, rebound, goes to Evergreen and a foul. That's Burke, I think. Those Lumbrees are the guy up there. Boy, Jalen Smith is uh, limping a little bit. I don't know if he turned an ankle, but he's uh, in discomfort. He go tell anybody. <laughs> Balls on Brandon Banks. Evan Lumbreeze are shooting two. So the Lumbreeze are to the line. He's just one of five from the strike. Oh. They hit that one last trip. 30.1 mm -hmm. to go, 59-55. Evergreen leading stretch. Now, who's coming in? I know you can only have five. I don't know what's going on. They get the, he gets them Got back. it, he'll get two. Big free throw on the front end, 60-55 Evergreen. And now Jalen Smith will come out. He is limping. Justin Wiggins back in. Umbrazer got it. Clutch. 61-55, under a half minute to go. Hallerfield for three. That's well off the mark. Rebound Brighton. His 12th, and this may do it. Wow. Lombrays are smart. Didn't need Over. to take it to the basket. Down to 12 seconds. <laughs> Brighton. And that's going to count it out. Wow. What a comeback win for Evergreen. 61-55. Incredible game tonight, Normie. We got to kind of shut this one down because we're late on time here. But outscored stretch 38 25 in the second half. Let's give it to Nate Brighton 22 points, 12 boards. You had E2 with 11, Hauk with 12, four triples, and a terrific second half by Evergreen. And Jalen Wilson, 27 points, had a heck of a night. Wonderful game. Norm, I appreciate you being here, buddy. It's the start of another year. <laughs> Jay Williams is the best cameraman in this. Well, he's the man. He's the man. We love him. Thank you, Jay. And, uh, hey, it was another great game. We're going to wrap this one up. Go to it, buddy. All right. Your final score, Evergreen 61, Cardinals stretch 55. And you've been watching and listening to the Toledo Sports Network.